In America, we have this marvelous channel called YouTube. And on YouTube, we have the ability to listen to all sorts of things. We can like things, we can dislike things, we can comment, we can interact with social media, we can interact with the producers, we can interact with the creative aspect of YouTube. But the other day, maybe it was a week or two perhaps ago, the Lord gave me a name directly, and you know how I do that. Literally, letter for letter, I received the name of Evie Pompouris. And I started to watch, and I started to listen, and I started to see an interesting person. Someone who's had an interesting and intriguing story. And someone who literally has living and has lived for God's glory. Who didn't give up on 9-11 and who did her job as a police officer and as a guy who hates police. Isn't it funny how God would do that to me? Or maybe it was somebody much higher. <laughs> I don't know if there's anybody higher than God, but as you know, people like to try to control God, don't they? They really love to play God. And the funniest thing is that when somebody's editing my videos, I'm going, way to go. How many times are you going to have to stand before God? And I'm going to say, sorry, I didn't realize that you were speaking through that one over there. I mean, he's imperfect. He's immoral. But the truth is, I'm not. And neither are you. When I'm talking about these things, I'm talking about a professional expectation. That if I reach out to you through LinkedIn with something funny or snotty or arrogant or super special, or just a marketing statement, or a compliment, I expect you to respond to me and link to me because that is the standard etiquette of that social media channel. Now people do look over things and I go, mm, I'm not sure what to do this, maybe I should do this, but doing it for a small amount of time doesn't hurt anybody. I have a professional network that I now have to shift completely, so I've been editing and cleaning house, but I've been noticing that I'm connected to people that I never once connect to. So that's a problem for me. But when I went to continue to follow through Facebook in my whopping nine-person friend Facebook channel, which I, because I'm not a guy who supports or like Mike Zuckerberg and Mark Zuckerberg or whatever the fuck his name is, I didn't like the movie on him that made me totally hate him. And openly, it's probably predominantly true. But a man who steals intellectual property, a man who steals from other people, doesn't impress me today. He's made millions of dollars all over the world, and he seems to get away with a hell of a lot from Congress. But at some point, the Lord is going to catch up to him. And maybe he has already. But here's what I'm saying. That I started to follow Evie Pompouris on my Facebook channel. And I started to answer questions that were put before me. And answer through the channel and then delete and do other things. And somebody cut me off from that opportunity to talk. And what I want to always say to people is, who are you to edit the house of the Lord? Because there are people that can talk through all kinds of channels. And maybe you're only seeing one side of the conversation, but maybe you don't realize another technology and another opportunity is being used for the other side of the channel. So maybe, just maybe, somebody as special as that is talking to me one way, while I have a right to validate that conversation, validate that inspiration, validate that question through another way. So I guess what I'm talking about is while she is a paralinguistic person, which totally blows my mind with that word. That she is a very intelligent person that needs to be heard. But as a marketing guy, I'm looking at this woman going, okay, I get this over here, but I don't get this here. And I look at this here, and I see this here. I see a whole gap here, and I want to tell you about it there. But the problem is you're letting some little 20-year-old girl manage your channel. Who doesn't have a clue what we're doing in God's house or any other? And I'm concerned for you because... Everything I just told you is true, and there's no phone number for you. Now, I can understand if you think you're world famous, that that could be a risk to you, but how many people are bold enough to pick up the phone and call you is not the issue that they should be able to call your publicity house. And I've looked at your publicity house, and no offense, they don't look any different than a Midwestern girl power house. And no offense to you. They've made common mistakes of developing a website, which says they're either new to it, or they're not great at it, or their adage is what they're selling is going to work across America, and it won't. 